a small video about the uh, EK D5 dual top this one so I have two pumps uh, that I use in two separate systems both with X tops and like to make one uh, system with dual pump setup uh, for better pressure and redundancy so what I will do I will free those pumps from those tops so unscrew all the sc screws here take this out and uh, here's uh, the package with with dual top and let's see how different it is from um, from the single top so this all screws and uh, o-rings and all the thing is um, not necessary this is a um, um, like bottom part to connect the uh, top to the to the case manual okay this is a retention plate the same system as here so you have a top itself and parts that uh, hold the pump together so it's the same just door and uh, let's see here's the actual actual top itself so I have two pumps here two pumps and only one inlet and one outlet which is predefined clearly in out alright so I don't think it will be rocket science, I'll do that, show you what's, how it um, looks like assembled and also we'll see how it um, can be fit in uh, Obsidian 800D case and um, seems like it's a little bit higher than standard uh, 525 slots so it seems like this one will take two slots um, anyways so let's um, assemble it and we'll see here's my two pumps freed from the previous uh, top so for those who haven't seen pump Andreas that's how it looks just a simple cylinder here so what you need to, to assemble this uh, dual top you have a two o-rings that you put on uh, each pump for insulation take a cable through the retention plate pump number one pump number two and um, you take top part connect together you can turn pump as you wish whatever direction you like and uh, put all screws into the system and uh, equally pressurizing it tighten them up and that's how the full assembly will look like when you do that so this is as simple as it gets probably the simplest part in your water cooling it's finished product as you can see comparing with a single top it has additional brackets that you need to screw together with the retention plate and it has uh, those female uh, screws that let you allow you additional um, mounting options so you can put it inside of 525 bay and fix it on both sides see here and there or maybe even connect it to <coughs> the side of the case and uh, hang it on those two or you can go traditional route I have those uh, holes on the bottom so you can put this uh, mounting plate um, screw it in and let the stop seats uh, on top of uh, something flat inside of a few case all right so um, a couple words about uh, more options on, on this dual top is the same as uh, dual top two loops you can um, screw your reservoir EK reservoir right into the top itself for that you need a special uh, part which called uh, uh, EK link Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, left, but the idea is that it's uh, a dual threaded part made of acetal. So one part gets screwed into the top, another part gets screwed into the your acrylic tube. So you can make something like that and have a um, top and a reservoir made as a one piece. 
and it's up to you. You can mount like this or like that, whatever, whatever works for you. All right. So um, let's see how we can try to position this um, top inside of Kaxar um, case. I'm not going to use uh, this option because uh, I'm thinking maybe to use some different reservoir. So um, let me do, put in and rearrange the camera and we'll see uh, what we can do here. So looking for the placement of this beauty. In my case, the most natural way would be put uh, this top inside of 525 cage area. It blends very nicely here. So I can feed the uh, top in this location and the uh, exit is either horizontal or vertical. So I can nicely go up to the radiator and just uh, push water straight to the radiator inlet. It's very nice, you can see it. So that's uh, probably the route I will go. Also, if you would like to use a link and put a reservoir straight on the top, you can do it. And you can actually just screw the entire uh, assembly to the side panel. Probably need to drill holes to do that. So this will look something like this. Whatever the height you would like to do. Or what I've seen other people um, did in the past, you can uh, put uh, this uh, top inside of the lower area and hide it here if it needs more space over here. All right. So uh, that's uh, how this thing will work. Uh, we'll continue building our Corsair build and we'll see what's uh, coming next.